Well, we're uh, again considering mirrors, and it's Professor Clements working through uh, Chapter 25 of OpenStax College Physics. In this situation, we have two flat mirrors that are at right angles to each other. Let's see my drawing down here. And there's an object six centimeters from one mirror, six centimeters from the other. That's right on the diagonal. And this object is reflecting room light that's striking the object. There's light going in all directions. But let's see if we can locate the images uh, for this particular object. So I'm going to start by drawing two rays, leaving this object. So there are many, many rays you could draw. I'm going to draw this one, and I'm going to draw this one. So how do they uh, bounce off of the mirror? We know they're going to obey the law of reflection. So if I put a protractor on here and I measure the angle away from the normal, 90 degree mark on the protractor is the normal. So I'm seeing uh, 16 degrees. So I'll go over here and make a mark at 16. And on this side, So 10, oh, 16 also, I just, that's coincidence that those are the same. So another mark over here. And the light's going to be leaving this way, but our eye is going to be up above the mirrors. And our eye will trace back that ray behind the mirror. Similar thing will happen on this side. I'll show you the trace back in just a minute here. So tracing back, the two rays meet behind the mirror. This is our image, image number one. And our, our eye out here looking at the rays uh, would trace back. The light is actually leaving the mirror after bouncing off but our eyes will trace back this diverging light to behind the mirror object uh, or we'll locate image number one. Well, we might put our head off over here and view into the mirror from this side. So I'm going to draw two more rays that bounce off of this other mirror. So I'll try to generate some odd angles here. And we'll come in oh, like that. So just any two rays leaving the uh, the object. And again, we'll use protractor here. So I have uh, 18 degrees for leaving 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 10. Be a dot there. And this one's a little smaller angle. So I'm seeing four degrees. So four degrees coming out, log reflection. Again, I'll bounce the light off of the mirror. Oh, I should have done the extension of the, uh, the ray back behind the mirror. And same way, obey the law of reflection. So I draw the light going out away from the mirror, but then extend back. And again, the light is crossing behind the mirror. The rays extended. So we'll have another image. Are there any other images? Well, let's take another set of rays that make two bounces before leaving our system. So, I'm going to take a ray, something like this. Again, many different rays are possible. I'm going to take one in there. That one will bounce off of uh, the mirror. And I'm going to create a ray here. 
And that one will bounce off. So let's see where these head. And you know, if these don't work, I'll draw another one. But um, let's go ahead and graph this out. So 10, 20, 32. 10, 20, 32, be aiming here, so we will get a hit. And let's go ahead and do this ray. Its angle of incidence is 10, 20, 35. So 10, 20, 35. We'll aim over for that dot. Of course, I'm going to hit the mirror first. We'll put arrows here just to remind ourselves which way the uh, light is traveling. We do end up with multiple lines. So there, over to here. And now we need to bounce again. So this particular ray. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 59. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 59. I'm going to go ahead and draw that one on here. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 59. So it's coming out that way, but again, our eyes will extend this back. And I may not have drawn this the best. Well, we'll just keep on going back. And now from the other side, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 56. 10, 20, 30, 40, 56. This way. And extending back. And this is uh, too far back. It, you can see the dotted lines eventually are crossing back here. I think it's a little bit too far back. I've um, not done the best work with my protractor. But it gives us the concept. As you move your head around and look in different directions at the mirrors, looking for the image of this object, uh, we'd find image one looking into the flat mirror at the bottom, image two looking into the mirror off to the side, and if we look towards the corner, we'll find a third image. So we're getting three images produced as this object sits in front of two mirrors at right angles to each other. Be good for you to practice doing this on your own. Again, I'd recommend drawing arrows on the rays to show how the light is, uh, the direction of the light. And the ones that bounce off of the mirror, you need to extend those back behind the mirror until you get two rays that cross, and that locates the image. So keep practicing with that.